Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Yeah, we are on the emulator PPSSPP. I need more PP. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you who haven't been following the live streams, I just wanted to show you guys this monster. So, if you notice that giant floating octopus, that is an elder dragon, quote unquote, <laughs> called Yamazukami. And, you know, it's just. It's just an elder dragon because people are like, what the fuck is that thing? And the guild was like, I don't know, must be an elder dragon. Because <laughs> uh, in Monster Hunter, elder dragon is a very loose category. So, yeah, they're going to make us run all the way up this tower to chase this giant floating octopus thing. And just uh, keep in mind, I am soloing a G3 guild quest monster, so... It has multiplayer HP and, you know, I'm soloing it, so we got to be here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and of course, I'm not using optimized gear. I'm just using some stuff because it, it looks cool. Yeah, I'm using the high rank uh, full Akantor set and the Ukonlo slants. And, of course, I need to paintball this thing because, obviously, uh, how else would I be able, to, be able to tell where this giant floating octopus is? You got to paintball it first, right? Okay, so... Yeah, Yama is just um, a really unique monster. It just has this really bizarre personality to it. It's just, it's just so like majestic and stoic and freaking weird at the same time. Uh, yeah, so it's like this octopus that just floats using hot gas and it's got moss all over its body. Um, yeah, and it's got some really neat attacks. Oh boy, <laughs> and it's got a big scary mouth, uh, just like your mother. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, chat. Um, anyway, yeah, so there, there's a few different phases um, to this fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, so um, when Yama opens his mouth, he's releasing these great thunderbugs, and this is technically how these monsters defend themselves. Um, kind of use swarms of bees. And yeah, they can self-detonate and send you flying across the arena. So yeah, we're going to be jumping up and down that platform a lot. So I'll, I'll fast forward this just to, you know, save you guys some of your lifespan there. Um, yeah. Okay, so while we're on the platform, um, Yama's actually sort of difficult to fight and counterattack. Uh, because yeah, you can, you can kind of only hit him in his tentacles. But he's doing this pulsating thing. And you can only hit him when, you know, he's you know pulsating out. Yeah, so I'm gonna be whiffing a lot, so yeah, don't mind that. Yeah, I think I should really be going on the... Trying to target the right whisker instead, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so... The scary thing about Yama is he actually has a one-shot attack. Um, where he... Basically gives you the suck. And he sucks you to death. <laughs> like he's... Uh, it's a really good suck. Um, so yeah, so he ul he pretty much only does it when he's enraged. That's when his eyes are yellow. And um, yeah, yeah, he's doing it right now. Uh, so while oh Jesus, yeah, so while he's giving you the suck, um, you can counter him by throwing trank bombs, and this actually paralyzes him. Um, yeah, you saw that I actually got caught up in the suck or the wind tunnel, and uh, technically it's it only kills you if you get sucked in and hit his teeth, but. Uh, weirdly enough, we hate each other at the same time, and I ended up just flying over his head. Uh, I've never had that happen before. <laughs> I was just really lucky. Okay, so uh, when you paralyze Yama, he's going to fall down to the bottom floor here. And like here, um, you, you'll have a lot less trouble hitting him, because you can just hit him in his um, tentacles that are just dangling down here. Uh, I like to hit him on his front left tentacle right here. Uh... You know what? Like, I never really noticed, but like his tentacles have like claws at the end of them, um, and he's only got six six legs technically, so that wouldn't make him an octopus. It's more like he's a sexopus, but that that really sounds like a word that will get me banned on off of YouTube. So let's. I'm just gonna keep calling him octopus if you guys don't mind. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, my live chat was telling me, like, I I don't really have anywhere to confirm this, but... 
but the fact that Yama has six legs and four of them are technically feet, like uh, this might indicate that he actually is related to other Elder Dragons because um, uh, pretty much all quote unquote standard Elder Dragons have six limbs and so does Yama. So I can sort of see how, yeah, he might have evolved out of like the base template. Yeah, he just um, went the big poofy floaty boy route instead. Okay, he's doing his um, ground slam thing. Uh, yeah, watch out for this if you don't have a shield. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, while he's on the, the ground, it's, it's much easier to hit him. I'm not exactly sure what his best hit zone is. I, I think it might be his eyes or his front whiskers. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just hitting this arm because it's easier to get to. Okay, he's heading back up, so yeah, we're gonna run in the door and rebuff myself all this type of shit. <clears throat> Okay, so we're back on here. Yeah, his uh, his suck attack is very dangerous. Um, you can technically block it if you have guard up on your set, which uh, you know it, normally I would bring that, but you know this is just a demonstration video. Like, uh, yeah, we're not trying to speed run or have the most efficient like whatever bullshit. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you what this monster looks like. So yeah, I just brought a set that was uh, you know mostly looks cool and has a little bit of functionality to go with this lance. Yeah, so I think Yama is mostly weak to ice and dragon. The Ukonlo's lance um, really doesn't have a lot of ice element on it. Um, I'm really actually only using it because it looks cool. Uh, yeah, there really aren't a lot of lances that do this spinny bullshit. You know, like, um, and normally a lot of lances in the later games, they only spin when you do like lance charge or something. Uh, but yeah, this spins the whole shit. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah, thanks Heavy for helping me make this lance. Well, okay, yeah, I'm trying to hit him in the whiskers, like, during uh, the openings, and it's just not happening. Okay, Big Mouth is trying to spit out more Thunderbugs. Yeah, so you guys notice how um, Yama floats using hot air, right? And uh, as you hit him, like, his stomach's gonna deflate, and this will cause uh, pretty much a topple state. He's gonna fall down. Yeah, and you'll be able to jump down on his head and uh, get some carves or plant some dragon bombs. Okay, so he only does the suck when he has two tentacles down. Um, he doesn't always do it. Uh, yeah, so he, he decided to not give us the suck that time. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times when he does uh, when he does whiskers like this, I just, um, I just get out of the way and don't attack because you don't know what he's going to do. Okay, yeah, he's doing it, so I'm going to counter him with trank bombs again. Oh jeez, okay, gotta get out of the way of this. Oh shit, it, it caught me again? Uh, did this really happen two times in a row? I cannot do that. Okay, we're back on the ground. Oh. Yeah, so <clears throat> in the later applications, it'll take, uh, it'll take more Trank Bombs every time. So at this point, I only have three Trank Bombs left, so I, I don't believe that's enough to break him out of the attack anymore, so... Yeah, as we go on in this hunt, um, every time he does a suck, I'm just going to have to get out of the way. And uh, sometimes that means you have to jump off the platform to save yourself. Which is fine, because, you know, no fall damage. Okay. Oh, he can also release Thunderbugs when he's down here. I didn't know that. Okay, let's top off my sharpness here. Yeah, if you go through the door, these Thunderbugs actually disappear, um, which is nice. Um, I don't know if that's an intentional mechanic, or just because uh, there's not a lot of memory on the <laughs> back in the PSP days. Uh, yeah, you can also just attack the Thunderbugs, but yeah, de depth perception is kind of a problem in this game. Like, uh, it, it's kind of stayed a problem in most Monster Hunter games. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I, I think a way they can really solve um, the depth perception problem is to give more... Uh, objects shadows so that you know like uh, in a 2d plane like where uh, that that object is I think that would solve like a lot of depth perception issues in the game um, even with underwater maybe yeah that that might work but uh yeah there's like um in Monster Hunter Rise there's like this uh, like healing bubble thing and you can't tell where it is because the bubble doesn't have a shadow yeah, I really hope they, they fix that sometime. 
Yeah, speaking of rise, I think, uh, yeah, if you had a game with with Yama, like a floating monster like this, and Wirebug, that would be crazy fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> like you can just do all this anti-air bullshit against this floating monster. Like that would that would be great. Yeah, it wouldn't be lighting. It wouldn't be like fighting Kushala at all. Okay, so, yeah, we're back up. Um, Yama has reinflated. Yeah, he's going to deflate twice and fall down twice. And then on the third deflation, he'll actually, like, die. Okay, so he's got his tentacles on the platform. It's all four, so we don't have to worry about getting the sock. Yeah, he only does sock uh, when, it's, when it's just his mustache. Okay, he it looks like he's enraged now. His eyes are yellow. Okay, this is four tentacles. We're fine to attack. Yeah, that is a lot of knockback. Yeah, this armor set just has Handicraft 1 and... What was it? Crit I 3? Yeah, I, I don't have any guard-related uh, skills on here. They would help, but, you know, that... Um, this amount of chip damage usually isn't too bad. He's not really, um, like, spamming the tentacle attacks really fast. Yeah, usually I'll have to change rooms uh, once in a while, and that'll give me an opening and a heal, usually. Ugh, yeah, I was probably attacking too fast to hit that right tentacle. Okay, another slam. Okay, four arms. God, just, just, just imagine what this monster would look at, look like in like uh, the HD graphics with all the, like, the moss and foliage and stuff. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay, he's trying to whip us again. Let me heal off a little bit of this chip damage. Oh, they can offer free supplies, right? Okay, it should be Thunderbugs. Oh, look at those teeth. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, he's gone for the deflate, so we're gonna hop on his head. Plant some dragon bombs. There you go. Let me see if I can get a carve off where this thing explodes. Okay, yeah, we're falling to the floor. Okay, and we're gonna just fast forward through this. I think when he does, um, like, this downstate from the deflation, he's too high up for you to attack, so... Yeah, you're supposed to just, you know, get the carves and then run back up. Okay, so, yeah, Yama has reinflated. Yeah, this... <laughs> this takes a while on Solo. Yeah, he's still got a few tricks up his bag, if you guys, um want to hold on and watch out for that. Yeah, aren't his teeth creepy as shit, though? Like, he's got, like, these big wooden human teeth. And then on the inside, there's, like, these little sharp teeth that he uses to, um... I'm guessing just to hang on to whatever he swallowed. That's, uh... freaking creepy as hell, dude. Yeah, speaking of creepy, uh, creepy mouths and teeth, um, have you guys ever seen... Like, uh, the teeth of a penguin? <laughs> Look at that sometime. It is, uh, quite horrific. Okay, he's got his mustache. Um, okay, he didn't do the sock. Or the vortex. I'm just gonna keep calling the sock, because it's funny. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's doing a helicopter. So, to avoid this, you have to, do, like, sheathe your weapon and duck. This is very dangerous for Lance players. And, uh, keep in mind that you have to duck and stay still. If you do um, the crawl, you'll be standing too high. You'll actually get your head chopped off. Yeah, I made uh, that mistake a bunch <laughs> during the live streams. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, a helicopter. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's a pretty fun way to interact with the monster. You can also use gestures like kickback and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, but it's neat to have a monster that uh, has a unique interaction and a way you can counter him like that. Okay, four arms. We're gonna just hit him with an arms with a tentacle. Okay, flinched him out of it. Yeah, I think if um, I wanted to kill him faster, I probably could have used like the Kushala Dora Lance or something like that. Yeah, or uh, maybe use a G rank armor set. This is a G rank monster. Now, I believe it's exclusively G rank. Yeah, you, you can't fight it in high rank either. Ah, oh, jeez. I really do not like these great thunderbugs. Ooh. Okay, he's doing mustache, so we're gonna get out from in front of him. Okay, he's doing the suck. 
I don't have any, I don't have enough trink bombs left, so we're just gonna hop off here. Okay, let's uh, head back upstairs. Okay, he's already swinging at us. That's his tail, it's just like a flap. <laughs> God, being able to use wire bug or like clutch claw counter would be fucking badass against this. Yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, when you get the Trank Bomb counter and you're on the floor to, and you can just hit his tentacles whenever, like, um, that part's a little more fun because um, you don't have as much trouble uh, just hitting him. Yeah, but up here you have to wait for all the wobbles and stuff. Like, that's that's probably one thing I would fix about this hunt. Just, just make it easier to hit him consistently. Yeah, having to deal with all this wobbling and stuff uh, kind of isn't fun. Okay, he's doing Mustache, but I don't think he's enraged. I can't see his eyes. I think they were red before. Yeah, he uh, he didn't do the suck. Yeah, so he usually does the suck when he's enraged, but sometimes he just starts ignoring his own rules when he's low on health, and he just kind of does it whenever he feels like. So, yeah, watch out for that. Shit happens. Okay, there's our second deflation. Hop on his head. Um... I don't have any Dragon Bombs left, so we're just pretty much going to get some cars. Yeah, his um, his gear is actually pretty damn cool. Like, he has, uh, he gives you a Dragon Wood, and there's a lot of really neat looking weapons in this game. Like, uh, there's this longsword that they call the Paddle, and it's like this wooden board with all these, uh, like, um, engraved letters. It just looks so badass. And then, uh, his heavy bow gun, it's like, uh, it's like a lion dog. Made out of wood, like yeah, you know, ancient dragonwood cannon. Yeah, the, his weapons look awesome. And guess what, chat? There's no lance because <laughs> there's never a cool lance. Goddamn devs, what's wrong with you guys? Just just make a weapon for every class. Like, uh, come on, like why why are you doing this? Okay, we're back upstairs, swinging at the giant octopus. Okay, swinging back at us. Oh yeah, and this is like old. PSP Monster Hunter Freedom Unite mechanics. So yeah, like Lance, it's it's got a really limited move set here. You basically have uh, you got your your pokes and your guard pokes and Lance Charge, and that's sort of it. Like <laughs> yeah, there, I guess there's steps, but oh god, okay, he's doing the suck. Oh, oh okay, yeah. So that's how that looks. Oh shit, yeah, he definitely was not in rage mode because his eyes were red. But yeah, when he's getting close to death, he just um, he just kind of does that whenever he wants to. So yeah, that's what it looks like when you get sucked by an octopus. <laughs> okay, well now you know what that looks like. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, you only take the the damage once you hit his teeth. Uh, but yeah, the other times I got sucked in, um, I just went over his head, which you know that was lucky. Um, and then technically, you don't die until you hit the ground. Like, after you hit his teeth, so, like, if you're in multiplayer, you can technically throw a life powder uh, after your friend hits the teeth and before they hit the ground, and that will actually save them. Yeah, I, I, and that was just because, you know, this is Freedom Night way back in the day, they don't even really have airborne mechanics yet, and I believe it, it wasn't until Monster Hunter World that you could actually die mid-air. Yeah, that was, I think that was when they added that. Oh man, I would love it if I could actually use Lance Counter against this thing. Yeah, I think, um... Oh, it's doing helicopter, better duck. Yeah, I think Freedom Knight pretty much is sort of our only way to access Yama. He... I think he might have some iterations in Frontier. Uh, maybe Monster Hunter Online, but, you know, what do I know about that? Um, so yeah, this is kind of your only chance to do it, unless you know they add him back into uh, the franchise in a newer game, which I think would be fantastic. Uh, for some reason, the devs seem to be really allergic to adding larger monsters. They, yeah, they pretty much just don't do anything bigger than Double Joe now, which I don't know why. Maybe there's a lot of like weird map interactions or something, or maybe they just got really burned by uh, doing Zora Magdaros. <laughs> You know, that was our own fault. Okay, we got the deflate, so let's jump on his head. How many times is this now? Like, three? That that sounds like too many times. 
Yeah, this is probably just going slower because I'm soloing. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, having to solo Monster Hunter for Unite back in the day was pretty horrific. Um, but, but yeah, thankfully uh, I got some some folks to help me out nowadays, so that, that's cool. Okay, getting a bunch of cars here. He's going to throw you off. Okay, let's uh, get back upstairs. Yeah, I feel like we're getting pretty close to uh, the final round here. Okay, he's whooping at us. Yeah, I think if I really practice, I can probably get the timings like on these like tentacle pulses so I can hit them more consistently. But yeah, we're just doing a demonstration today. Okay, looks like gas. Yeah, so... We're not really sure what type of gas like Yama has in there. Uh, it might even be multiple gases, but if it's lighter than air, um, some people were guessing hydrogen or helium. But the fact that he can set it on fire uh, sort of tells me that it's not helium, you know, because you can't burn helium. Uh, so I'm guessing hydrogen. But yeah, no way to tell. Okay, he's doing mustache. All right, let's get out of the way of this. Oh, okay, he's actually doing it. Uh, okay, I, I don't think that's enough. We, we better just... How long is he going to keep doing that? Yeah, he might have gone all the way across, so yeah, you kind of just have to jump. What the hell? Where'd he go? <laughs> that was weird. What the hell? Why was he on the floor? Um, yeah, he might have done ground slam to try to get me like while I was down there. Yeah, that was weird. Um, usually he's just up top when you're climbing back up. Yeah, pretty strange. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think you can get him with a guard poke. Okay, uh... Okay, he's got red eyes, not enraged. This looks like four arms, so we should be clear to attack. We got a good flinch. Yeah, sometimes I actually get disappointed with flinches in Monster Hunter because it actually kind of ruins your opening. Okay, block the hit. Yeah, I wonder if I could have just fit some guard pokes in there before the, the hit landed. Okay, another attack. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, that, that kind of surprised me because uh, his stomach wasn't all the way flat. But, uh, but yeah, there he goes. That's, that's uh, Yamasukami. Oh, what a neat looking monster, right? Like this thing would, I bet it would look beautiful in, in uh, the new graphics engine. Like that, I would really love to see this monster back in the game. All right, let's uh, hop down and get our cars here. Oh, where are we? Oh, okay, yeah, here's his face. Let me carve out a little bit of his gums here. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the the camera just goes fucking crazy trying to deal with like this large monster. Yeah, there's a good view of his uh, his big teeth and his little teeth there. Oh, this is one of the old games, so if you want a car faster, you actually have to duck. Yeah, let's see if we can look around here. Oh, I, do, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, yeah. That was a long hunt, but, you know, that's you know, multiplayer health, soloing an Elder Dragon, but uh, there you go, there's a dead Yamasukami. Yeah, he sucked me three times, <laughs> but uh, I only died once. Yeah, guys, please don't take that audio out of context. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what's going to happen now that I asked you to not do that. Yeah, pretty good rewards. Yeah, Yama's armor is okay, but mostly his, it's his weapons that are pretty desirable. Okay, and yeah, we're going to head back to the lobby. Alright guys, well, there's a look at the Yamsukami. Uh, definitely one of my favorite monsters from Monster Hunter Fring Unite. It's just so weird and bizarre and unique, and I just really like the way it looks. And like I just think it has a lot of really neat, uh, unique interactions to it that make the gameplay very fun of course there's a lot of ways to improve on the hunt but um yeah hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time